Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. And today we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 31. This is getting to the end of John's Gospel account. He wrote this down, and uh, here he is giving us a little reason why he wrote down this account, his account of Jesus' life and death and resurrection and teaching. And uh, it says in John 20, verse 31, But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. John, his intention for recording his memories, his personal experiences with Jesus, or so that you would believe that Jesus was, in fact, sent by God, the Messiah that was promised in the Old Testament, that God's answer would come, and that by believing in Jesus and what he came to accomplish through his death and resurrection, that you would have life, eternal life, spiritual life, from spiritual death to spiritual life because of Jesus. So that's why we have the Gospel of John. It's because John was intentional about giving this to us so that we could find life in Jesus. Have you found life in Jesus? And how has Scripture helped you to find that more and more? Helped you to believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Helped you to understand the fullness of God's love for you? and it, stepping into what it means to be his follower. I hope that you use scripture as a means of experiencing and learning more and having your belief and faith grow because of what is recorded for us. God blessed us with scripture. And you know, when you think about it, it's pretty miraculous that we even have the Bible available to us today. There were so many times throughout history where efforts were made to destroy every copy of Scripture available, to wipe out this message of Jesus. Why? Because it was offensive. It was offensive to those who didn't want to believe. And honestly, if we get down to the root of it, it was our enemy, Satan, wanting to destroy hope that is found in Jesus. Instead, we have scripture available to us. So it's available everywhere we turn, available online, available um, in uh, pretty much every bookstore you would go to, you could find scripture. And it is a gift from God so that we would believe that Jesus was the Messiah and experience new life in him. Let's pray. God, thank you for the gift of Scripture. Thank you for John and his faithfulness in recording his experiences with Jesus, <clears throat> what Jesus taught, what Jesus did, what Jesus accomplished through his death and resurrection. Lord, we pray that we would allow your word to continue to speak to us, not only to affirm that you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God, but that our life lived with you as our Lord and Savior would become strengthened and we would become the people that you intended for us and live the life that you planned for us right from the beginning, a life that is full, a full and abundant life. Lord, thank you for your gift of scripture and may we treasure it and experience what you want us to through it. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, John summarizes his gospel in John 20, 31, saying, But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. God bless you, and uh, may your life be filled with his presence. Take care.